Hello guys, the DV Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a $10 wager match between Siegfried Star and Lampy. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum link down below in the description if you want to go ahead and play in anything like this yourself, and let's just hop right in. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Lampy win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and go ahead and decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Knight, Quick Launch, Ravine, Talents, Rocket, Synchron. Okay, so... Um, I was going to say, like, maybe they're just playing a little rocket engine, but why, like, I, I can't explain this yet. I haven't seen enough of the deck. So maybe Magician Souls? Then they have Prosperity, Bird Call, Droplet, Wagtail, and Nerval. So obviously, you know, Bird's going first here with a hand like this is pretty strong. Also, they're deciding to play Prosperity over something like Desires or Small World. Um, you could also say talents, but talents doesn't necessarily, um, fill the same roles the other ones do, as, like, the other ones are, like, consistency cards, and talents doesn't actually, like, if you brick, it's not gonna unbrick your hand. And then special summon effect, special summon out the wagtail, and then wagtail effect, go search bird call, um, they should be able to set up, well, it doesn't search swallow, yeah, should be able to set up. Um, a pretty decent board here at least go ahead you know you can go for starling i mean they still have a lot <laughs> like activate the effect that will detach go search out swallow and then activate swallow effects summon out swallow summon out the nerval and then they're gonna overlay those for another starling and then activate the effect that will go ahead detach um they're going to detach nerval here which does play into DD Crow. Um, there was no good time to get hit with DD Crow yet because they uh, Warblurred summon from hand. So now they are giving the opponent a good time to DD Crow. So they should detach the Swallow. Um, go search out Barry. Unless they just wanted to get hit with DD Crow on it. I mean, I mean, you get hit with DD Crow on Nerval. Like you're still going for like F Zero and then um, Robin. You have Droplet. You still have Prosperity to look at cards to try to like fix the hand. Uh, Nerval go search Fractal. So maybe they just wanted to get hit with DD Crow on that. And then go for F Zero, go for Draco. And then they're gonna normal summon out Fractal. Fractal effect banish. And then that's gonna go for Omen. You could also say like, but now they have an out to DD Crow. But at the same time, I guess you. I guess, like, you wouldn't really care because you already passed the checkpoint for Nib. Nib gets hit on the second Starling, so they don't have Nib. Like, DD Crow Gamma just wouldn't matter. Like, you just DD Crow before. Okay, 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 okay. So, fair enough, fair enough. I don't think they, like, played it, like, super bad or anything. Go for Blossom. Omen effect. Um, Omen will go search out the Sparrow. And then they're going to affect the Summon Out Sparrow. Sparrow effect to go search. Go search DD Crow, so... They are deciding to go for this. They could have also Omen grabbed Nerval, Summon Nerval, Nerval Effect, Banish 2, go for Double Dragon Lords. Um, like F0 could be in this spot, Blossom here, um, Nerval like anywhere over here, Nerval Effect, Banish, Summon Double Dragon Lords here, and then turn Blossom and Nerval into the Samorg here. Um, but this also is not bad. Like having a, having DD Curl also helps versus something like a Droplet or a Dark Ruler. We see Harpy Conductor and Appalooza in their extra deck. Say so most people cut Harpy Conductor. More people recently have been cutting Appalooza. We see Dark Ruler, like seeing like Dark Ruler droplets. Um, like just these like more hard going second cards. When I wouldn't say like droplets more of like a harder. I'd say it's like you know it works going first. Um, where Dark Ruler is like strictly a hard going second card. Uh, they can't blossom draw because prosperity and then summon out berry summon out from the graveyard and then they're gonna overlay those go for robin and then set droplet end phase summon out the apex avion past turn draw recharger okay i'm interested in seeing what they're playing now so they're gonna knight summon itself out and then they're gonna rob an effect to bounce and then activate talents to try to take chain apex avion negate that then activate ravine activate quickly you know the, the opponent's probably like what because they saw a knight <laughs> and they're like what is this uh quick launch go ahead summon out tracer 
And then we're going to activate Ravine Effect. Discard the Knight to go dump. Pretty much a free discard there. It's also a Light Engraver. Pretty good. Um, Abs Effect. So this will go ahead and search out Tracer. Tracer Effect with Pop Ravine. They let this go through. And then summon out Rocket Synchron. Uh, they still have their normal. So they're going to go for Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon effect to try to go search out the Boot Sector launch. F0, Negate Steel. Normal summon out Tracer. Battle phase, beat over Robin. Um, Robin effect to go ahead and add back. It's going to add back to Sparrow. And then main phase 2. Go for a Quad Burl here. So they decide to not beat over the Striker Dragon. Um, quad effect, because, like, you know, that would play into Droplet, but, I mean, so does this. This also just, like, equally loses to Droplet. I mean, like, DD Crow on Recharger, and, like, DD Crow's known. Like, now they're just summoning these bodies out, and, like, what do they really do? Yeah. Um, going on into the next game, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Dragons go first. Opening hands, we have Recharger, Droll, Talents, Maximus, Quick Launch. Okay, so he's like a big Dogmatica engine. Is is there schism? Is there schism? That that could be good. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. They have Bird Call, Imperm, Berry, Prosperity, Warbler. You know, they can't complain about their hand. They have one going second card. Plus combo and Prosperity. Summon out Tracer. And then go for Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon effect. Like, it's definitely not a small dragon engine. Like, they're playing multiple Rocket Synchron, multiple Tracer, Ravine, Abs. Striker Dragon pop. Add back Tracer. Activate Boot. Boot to go ahead and special summon out the Tracer and the Recharger. Tracer effect to pop Boot. And that's going to summon out the Rocket Synchron there. And then slap those into Papega Ruler. So Papega Ruler effect. Uh, they're going to let this go through. Okay, they're going to imprint this. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate. Like I, I, like, I don't disagree with this play or anything. But I wanted to see five cards of their deck. Then go for Hot Red. Banish Striker. Summon Maximus. Maximus effect. They're going to send the App Cologne and Ash Dragon. Uh, you know, this deck does have like spots that you can just like take out for other stuff like you could play the window uh, the app clone and ash you know people were playing the christmas package in the deck which is also three spots so now you're just like using those spots and also it's like a, a mini christmas package you know you can go ahead and like if your opponent maximus is you you know you're at least you're getting something out of it they're gonna dump blossom and appalooza and then they're gonna blossom which uh plays in the talents here um, they're going to discard roll, talents look at the hand, and then they're going to go ahead and hit prosperity because they know they can deal with engine cards with schism. So now they just have to be afraid of the non-engine cards, which is what prosperity leads to. Um, and now they know they have hot red to deal like with the top deck and then schism to deal with all the engine. Summon Ecclesia, go search knight. You're locked in the darks, bro. My bad. Yeah, Tracer only does that from uh, extra deck. They draw Kuraz. And then they're going to activate Bird Call. Um, they're going to Chain Schism. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you definitely don't Hot Red here. Go for Winda. Uh, interesting that's up in the extra monster zone when their deck can still, like, link. But I guess it's fair if you want to, like, summon Papega Ruler, summon Knight. Um, but they don't even have a light for that right now. And then summon... Um, activate the effect, banish, this goes for double dragon lords. They should have stopped that, no? Um, because, like, now this just gets rid of itself to bounce window. And, like, now you have to, like, actually play against the opponent. And, like, yeah, if the opponent had, like, a, a dark ruler, they would have just already done it. So you're gonna get Nerval, go search out Fractal. Interesting choice to uh I guess like if you don't chain schism the bird call, they could summon out a body and a normal summon. But then what? 
like on that normal summon you could go ahead and schism and if they go for any xyz they have to go for assembled and next turn assembled just loses the hot red effect um yeah yeah so interesting choice and they also just like didn't negate thinking about double dragon lords um so now Kuraz is gonna go ahead summon itself out Kuraz effect bandish do you have a target for two question mark? Yes. Because they are playing the Harpy. Summon out Knight, negate Kuraz. Now, moving on into the next game. Well, no, yeah, they shouldn't have uh, Hot Red negated it. They should have dropped Knight because they still would have had Hot Red to negate the, like, anything else. So, I, I messed up there, but they really messed up there. Going on to the next game, we have Valor, Quick Launch, Droll, Quick Launch, Gamma. Plenty of going second cards. They have Harpy's Feather Storm, 1 for 1, Nerval, Trap Trick, Called By. So this trades with a Hand Trap. Um, they have multiple Harpy's Feather Storms. 1 for 1, get rid of Nerval. Special Summon out Sparrow. And then they're going to activate Nerval, Chain Link 2, Sparrow, Chain Link 1. Nerval goes search out Fractal. And then Sparrow is going to search for the Wagtail. And then drop Droll on Rez. Another thinking. No problem, can you play a bit faster? Six minute turn and all they've activated is one for one. <laughs> That's insane. Set pass Droll Nocto. Uh, keeping called by. Called by on Droll would have not been bad. But they're probably expecting more hand traps. Um, called by can also hit a seal later on. It's pretty much what this deck is going to try to go for, I guess. After they get hit with the Harpy's Feather Storm. So now move on to the main phase. Quick launch, summon out. Uh, that's going to summon out Tracer. Uh, activate Nocto effect. They're going to chain the Harpy's Feather Storm. So do they activate another quick launch here and go for Seal? I guess probably not because your opponent has called by. But to be fair, they did say Big Think on Droll. I like to do something like this a lot too where I actually have no response to the Droll and Lockbird. But I'm just thinking about my next play to make my opponent think that I have called by. But you never truly know what I'm thinking because I could actually just have like a called by R, like a response to the droll. But you would never actually know that. And it has you thinking that I have the called by. Yeah, see, they're just going to go ahead and pass here now. And they draw Barry. And you still have like Gamma Valor for interruptions. Um, fractal effect to go dump. And then... It's gonna go dump kit. They could have also set um, another trap. Like they could have set the harpies and the trap trick, and then trap trick could have been used on their turn to stop all incoming hand traps. And then you know called by trades with seal, and that's all the deck can set up monster wise. But then you have you have harpies feather storm to negate seal anyways. So yeah, maybe they could have just like set the trap trick. Um, kit effect, dump Nerval, and then even if you get hit with like a, a Twin Twister, which I'd say is like the most common like back row destruction card right now, um, but nobody even sides that in versus Bird, you know, nobody's putting Twin in versus Bird, so I'm not even going to say that, because that, that just sounds dumb, no one's putting Twin in versus Bird, like if this package was super popular, like the 3 Trap Trick, 3 Harpies Feather Storm, I could see Red Reboot, but... I don't, I don't think people are actually doing that right now. I don't, I don't think... Because not enough people are, like, playing Trap Tricks. So you're just putting in, like, Red Reboot for Harpy's Feather Storm, which is, like, their plan B. So then you have to open up Red Reboot plus, like, a Droll and Lockbird to stop them. And then Fractal Effect. Banish. Chain Gamma. So summon out Gamma. Summon out the Driver. Then... They're going to go ahead, set... Pass, draw abs, and then activate quick launch, quick launch, go ahead, summon out the rocket synchron, Nocto, chain trap trick. Okay, so they wanted Nocto to go through, otherwise, they could have chained trap trick in response to quick launch. So that way, like, Harpies could be chaining too in response to Nocto, but they want Nocto to go through. I guess they just want them to summon seals so that way they can call by it. And then, like, you're cutting off the draw. Okay. Special out abs. 
and then they're going to get rid of those go for seal um, Nocto effect chain harpies feather storm negate and then they're just gonna pass you decide not to attack doesn't want to play into like a berry or uh, a warbler draw bird call they do know that they have wagtail in hand that they can normal summon at well now that they have bird call you know they're not going to normal summon it, but they don't know that they have bird call. Go search out Swallow, and then special out the Wagtail. Wagtail effect to go search. So Wagtail will go ahead and search out another bird call. Good follow up slash a free put back for like Blossom. Go for Starling. Uh, they're going to use Seal, get rid of Abs, playing around the called by. And then Abs graveyard effect. In response, chain called by to hit that. And then they're going to normal summon out Swallow, beat over Seal. And then main phase 2, berry effect, special summon that out, and special summon out the Sparrow. Sparrow effect to go search, grab Nerval. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot for them. They're just going to go for a big Robin here. Um, Wagtail to attach from the graveyard, and then pass. Draw Red MD. Um... I mean, they did put everything under Robin, so now they want to play. They're going to have to do this a little bit weird. Uh, they're going to go ahead and activate Bird Call. Bird Call goes search. Um, well, okay, they're going to dump the Sparrow. I guess that's fair, because now you can Barry summon that back out. The Barry top deck was uh, pretty solid, so otherwise, like, they had Bird Call and Nerval, and, like, they have to do some weird plays. So summon that, summon out Sparrow, Sparrow effect, they're going to Valor it, they're, oh, uh, they were trying to Valor that, uh, sorry, thought it worked like Swallow, Swallow is also a hand effect, <laughs> Warbler, Warbler is a little bit different, effect, go search out Warbler, and then they just go ahead and admit defeat here. GG. GG. Okay, so we're going to see Lampy win the $10 there. And we're going to see Siegfried lose the $10 there. I'm um, seeing how long of a match it was. It was an hour and four minutes long. That's kind of insane. I mean, they're probably okay with it though, because, like, this is just testing. Like, testing with money. It's kind of it's kind of weird to say. But yeah, they were just testing with money. Um, yeah, I don't know, definitely, uh, definitely some weird plays. I really do think that they probably should have just, like, set both. I don't think it really plays on anything besides, like, Lightning Storm or Harpies, which nobody's siding in versus Bird. If you side those in versus Bird... You're probably just not going to have a great time versus the actual end board. Because, like, this is literally just the plan B. And even if you activate Harpy's Feather Storm or Harpy's Feather Duster, they can just chain Harpy's Feather Storm. It's still not going to work. Um, but, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Um, make sure to go ahead and check out Coliseum Discord down below in the description. Also, speaking about the bird stuff, um, coming up soon. I know I said this before. But me and him talked about it again. Uh, me and Tub should be working on a video coming up here soon. Um, so uh, that'll be cool to go over. Um, I've seen the spreadsheets. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, just like be honest about it. I think some of the combos on it are a little outdated since they're playing the three Starling. Um, oh, they, don't even, they didn't even go through it this game. But yeah, the three like uh, rank one Starling. But I think, like, a majority of the combos still work exactly the same. But you just, like, change them a little bit at the end. And there's also... I don't know, the combos aren't bad. There's also, like, tips and tricks on there and stuff. But I'll go over that more when the time comes. With all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.